Hello fellow Samakians, ICCS Sunlord here, back for another video of Destiny Tactics. I don't have anything to show um, when it comes to like a title or anything like I have for Sunlack because I haven't made something for Destiny Tactics like that um, quite yet. But, this is a new game I'm going to be working on from now on. Um, and before you think, wait, what about Silmac? What about Step 2? I'm not quitting Silmac. I am not quitting Silmac. I will be continuing it. Um, and thanks, by the way, for the feedback on my most recent Silmac video. It's amazing. I'm probably going to um, do it, scan everything, and work towards that. I just need to uh, make a couple decisions while I'm doing that about how I'm going to go about doing it. But this video is not for that. This video is for Destiny Tactics. Now, Quite a while ago, probably near the beginning of the channel, I uploaded a video about Destiny Tactics. I didn't want to show too much of it, but now I'm ready to show some. I'm super excited as well. It's not a huge um, amount of visually appealing stuff to show, but it's progress. It's progress, and the visually appealing stuff will come in time. But for now, um, basically, if you remember that, that video... I read you all a kind of a backstory. I'm not going to read it again because I've already read it. But if you want to hear it, you can go check out that video. I'll leave a link down in the description to that video. I'm trying to look in my my uh, book for it. Yeah. So, as I said in that video, it's going to be taking place in the realm of Lest Wands, which is a certain realm in kind of the dimensions, and um, it incorporates all of the dimensions inside it. So basically, a long time ago, I drew this map of Lest Ones, and I just kind of started incorporating the game into it. I like drawing maps. I liked drawing maps for fun. I put a lot of detail into this one, and this is my favorite so far. So this is where the game is going to be based out of. Now. Each player will have their choice at a map, like a board, to use. Alright? And up there in the top right corner, up here, it says Scalestone Pass. I'm going to name them depending on like different the different uh, geological features in the map, in the world. But basically, I will have certain... Oh, text. I will have, um, like, each dimension... Only I'm not going to call them dimensions, I'm going to call them by, like, I'm going to name them a special, like, civilization name, which I have yet to figure that out. But basically, I'm just going to use the terrain dimension. As an example, this is a terrain dimension board. So, scale stone pass, terrain dimension. Um, each dimension has three main resources. So, terrain has wood, stone or rock, and sand. And then other resources that are other civil civilization main resources are in the boards as well to help you um, train up units. And a player will be able to, able to decide what board, so I'll have different variants for each dimension of board to choose, so training card game, trading board game. It'll be very interesting. It's an interesting idea. So, um, in that video I showed you some art for what these tiles are going to look like. And it's not like each tile is going to be carbon copy of each other. I'm going to make the board fully unique. So, in that video I showed you the mountain tile, the grass tile, and the forest tile. I'm thinking about redoing the forest tile. I'm not happy with it. But since then, I drew up the rock and the sand tile. So there's the rock tile. I made it like an arid desert with rocks. These are like crevices going down into the earth, and we got some rocks here. Um, poking out. And then the sand, we've got it surrounded by the arid landscape, and it's got like this rich reddish orange sand, and you can see like sand dunes in there as well. Tell me what you think about those two pieces of art, and if you hadn't seen the previous video, tell me what you think about the uh, mountains or the forest. But basically, I've also asked somebody to help me out with something, to get art for one or two of the cards, and Hopefully, when that's done, I'll be able to show you. 
and I'm super excited to see what that's going to look like, but that might be in a while because, yeah, planning. So, next up, the cards. I have no actual art yet, and that's because I want this game to be as good as I can make it. So I'm going to take my time. Right now, I just want to do balancing. So basically, I have a bunch of these, like, terrain dimension cards and there's different types so here there's a base card and this layout is just very simple to um, for me to help myself um, iron out the bugs of the game and get everything balanced it'll look a lot better obviously but basically you start the game with a base and you don't put your base in you don't put the base card into your deck you have all the bases available to you and you decide which one you want to use as your beginning structure so each one has a certain amount of health and a certain kind of special ability. And over here, this RCR, that's the Resource Collection Radius. So one tile is the tile it's on, a second tile would be the tile surrounding it, and a third tile would be the tiles surrounding that one. So Rish City, three tiles away, would be like... So your base would start here. It would be one tile, two tiles two tiles, three tiles. So Reach City has a huge starting advantage. However, um, I did notice that it's kind of got a lot of health. I might bump its health down because of its starting health. It's kind of crazy, especially with the starting ability. So we got bases. You start with those. They don't go into your deck, but you can decide which one you want to start with. Next up, you got outposts. Now, outposts are basically bases, but you build them anywhere in the map. You don't build them on top of um, tiles with with something on it. You build them on top of an empty tile. And we got so far nine outposts with different kind of abilities like Tiny Village buy two units at this outpost if desired on the same turn. Deal two damage to attacking units. Ranged units have one more range when defi defending mountainside. So you can make units defend certain outposts. And then we got these buildings. Now buildings you can build inside bases or outposts. Um, and they just help that outpost or base work. So here, worker union. Choose one resource to collect every turn from three tiles resource collection radius. Basically, if you have an outpost that only has a two RCR, one, two, could only collect these, you can choose one resource to collect outside, like three tiles away. One, two, three. So I could s decide to either select a rock or a field or a farm. Um, and then we got like rooftop gardens. Collect one farm resource within this base or outpost. Extra defense. More units are less. Only a certain amount of units can attack this outpost. Um, Thieves Guild, Spy Academy, flip the top card of your opponent's deck over, keep that top card upright as long as this building is not destroyed. Um, I'm having an idea with, like, base attacking, where you attack it, and if the structure, like, if the base or outpost is damaged, even a slight amount, the gates will be busted open, and then attacking units can decide to attack troops or buildings or the base itself. But if it's not damaged, you have to attack the base first. So I've got my ideas. Why is there an outpost there? And then we've got this one card crystal. It's just the nature crystal. You can plop that down on top, because it's only got one resource collection radius, on top of a um, item. And, you can cl and, and the item will be sent to the nearest outpost or base. Next up, you got caravans. Now, caravans have a lot of speed, and I made ones that are faster have less health and they all do the same thing but basically you can go to a tile with a resource pick it up bring it back to a base to use so you could go across your board you could invade your enemy's board pick up a resource and run away with it I mean you're not stealing it you're just taking some out of it to use in your base but it allows you to um, continue to build your armies, even if you don't have the right resources available to you. And then you got some commanders. Now, commanders are just stronger units, and um, they allow you to stack units on top of each other. So usually, a unit can't, two units can't share the same space unless they're inside a city. 
a commander allows you to stack them. The limit is four, including the commander, so three other units along with the commander. And you can't stack commanders together, because that would be interesting. Next up, we have... Oh, this is it. Okay, so we have melee units. Um, in the future, I intend to add ranged units that have a ranged stat, and flying units, which will be able to fly over... Um, impassable tiles, impassable tiles being mountain, this mountain tile, for example. You couldn't pass it, you'd have to walk around it. A flying unit could sit on it if it wanted. Um, and I have a whole bunch of different melee units with different strengths and weaknesses. Now, through the whole kind of creature with the caravans, with the commanders, and with the units here, this is the resources you need. So Skill Stone Worm needs two sand and two rock, meaning, and I haven't made up my mind of how the resource collection is going to work exactly yet, but I'm thinking um, two sand and two rock, you have to have an outpost that has sand and rock next to it that can collect. Skill Stone Worm needs two turns to make, so it takes one turn to collect sand and rock, and then it takes a second turn to collect another sand and rock. Or, I'm trying to decide, um, it takes one turn to get one sand, one turn to get the second sand, one turn to get one rock, and one turn to get a second rock. With playtesting, I'll figure out what rules of that I want to use. I want to see if the first way, one turn you get sand and rock, if that's too fast and you're just making too many units. And if it is too fast, then I'll bump it down. Because then stuff like Weightless Stone, Ether, and Rock, that'd take two turns to make instead of four. Ether, Wood, and Iron, three turns to make. So, we'll see. I'm going to switch over my camera now to board. Actually, I'm not going to switch it over. I'm just going to carry it over. Hang on. Outposts. So, basically, I have a bigger board to play test, and it's in pencil marking, so it's hard for you to see at the moment. But, oh, wait... Let's get some bases. I need a base. Where's a base? Leaf of town. Here we go. Okay. So you'd have a base on the, your base starting tile. And once you have a unit, you could move it around. This isn't a unit, this is an outpost, but I don't want to walk back over there. You could move, plop down an outpost here, and now you could make a unit at this outpost. So Desert Community has two RCR. Collect two sand resource every turn, so that would be a kind of a bad idea to put it there because there's no sand resource in the area. So you're not getting full effect out of the ability. But now you can make units there and there. And you have two different like action points per turn, so you could make one outpost and make one unit somewhere else. Or you could build two outposts or two units in two different places. Um, except that one, that one outpost that allowed you to make what? Where was it? Yeah, this one. Buy two units at this outpost if desired on the same turn. So you could use your two action points in the same base that time. Because usually you'd only be able to make one unit in the same base at a time. So basically, you have your board, and your opponent would have their pre-chosen board over there, and it would connect at the top. And you could walk over, and your units could invade the enemy. And your goal is basically to destroy the base. And I'm thinking that each um, each thing, I want there to be a second win condition for each civilization. I'm not sure how that could be even possibly balanced, but I'm going to do a lot of thinking into it. If you have any ideas, let me know. I'm thinking for the terrain, my ideas for the terrain were... Um, where are we? Hang on, I had, I had something, I had notes. I, so for the green, for terrain, I have yet to rename it. Um, I'm thinking they're going to be defense. So it's going to be different from most kind of color schemes. Um, green is going to be defense and peace, not attack. So I'm thinking their second win condition could be something like have a certain amount of outposts and buildings built um, on your board as a second win condition. Blue is going to end up being relentless, surprising, and wild. So instead of, like, magical and stuff, they're going to be really powerful because, you know, the sea storms can come out of nowhere. And red numbers, large armies, like Mordor, I've list said somewhere else. Most recent video, I think. Yellow, you know, friendship, helping each other. 
And those are going to be the four main colors in the game. Right now I'm just going to add, basically what I'm going to do next is get another board, make it the same board for green, get the, print out the same cards, and then just put the same deck against the same deck and see what happens when I'm actually fighting against myself. I have done some playtesting just against this and sending units forward. I want to see what happens when there's an actual enemy over there with the same exact deck. Um, next thing I make, I've already planned out the cards for, I just need to make red. But right now I just want to test how this plays green against green. So if you have any ideas, um, let me know. Let me know. I'd be I'd be happy to hear your opinions on the abil on the um on the rule of how to make a unit. Like whether that should take four turns or two turns, whether that should take one turn or two turns, let me know. Um if you have uh, any ideas for what is it? Civilization names for like green. Let me know as well. I've got my ideas. I just need to come up with them. But anyway, that is going to be it. That's everything I had to show for you for Silmac. Um, the next video of this, I don't know how long it's going to be until I can get a next video out for Sil or not Silmac. This is Destiny Tactics. What am I thinking? Um, I want to show you the art that I've asked someone to help me make. And I also want to... I also want to um, kind of tell you how the battle goes against someone else with the same deck. So we'll get to that when we get to that. But for now, this is what we got. This is what I could show you. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like down below and comment of what you think about um, the game. About the art that I have made for these tiles and some of the ideas. So anyway, again, thank you very much for watching. Get out of here, fly! Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Sunlord is up.